When I was a kid, I was scared of horror games or anything even slightly related to the paranormal. Now I feel numb because nothing scares me anymore. Probably because I got used to it. So I'm going on a journey to find a horror game that can actually do that. I've played one in the past, got bricked up instead of scared, so I was looking for another one to see if I can find any luck. I stumbled upon something very realistic. So I'm gonna be trying out Chuxi. I do not know if I'm pronouncing that right because I'm convinced my knowledge about language is absolute horseshit. I'm gonna be reviewing and rating this game at the end. Green rating for the game itself and the red rating for the scary level. That being said, would it be enough to get to me? Oh, this is so sick. Now I can simp over fictional knockers in ultra realism. Okay, so my POV is a body cam, which is pretty new to me. Where's the crosshair? How do you even aim? That is so cool. You can't change the sensitivity in the game, but you can inspect your weapon. Priorities, people. Okay, here are the controls. T turns on my flashlight. They should really get the lights checked. Let's just turn the switch on. Hey, at least the gun handles pretty great. No one's home. Okay, I just know one of these options is gonna f*** me up. You know what? Let's just go with the red one. White kinda. Purple one? Oh, no, not the purple one. Blue? Hello there. Oh, sh That's my ex. Why did she flap like that? <laughs> Bro, this gap looks tighter than Sydney Sweeney's cleavage. I think I got him. Ooh, he's shiny. I press. Oh, no good, man. Oh, God, it just stops. And it opened a door. Receiving ammunition in a game like this usually means problems. Bro, what? Why do running ghosts sound like pasta? You know exactly what kind of pasta I'm talking about. What if I just spin the valve a lot of times? Bro, bro. Why was there so many? I just know something's gonna go down in here. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, sh <laughs> You may have me on the floor, but I can still shoot. Oh no, wait, I'm dead. Okay, let's be smart about this. Is that one moving? Oh, oh, oh! He's stuck. He's too tall. Damn, bro, they got some meaty ass feet. Look at them. Where's the last one? Where could he be now? I killed him with one shot. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, them legs nasty. <laughs> Didn't know you would chill like that. If horror games have taught me anything, is that what I need is down there somewhere. Okay, so we got some extra protein in here. Ammunition again. I can guess what's coming. Come on, man. I don't even eat pork. You ain't got nothing on me, 1v2, boy. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, but... Why are you red? Is that like a race thing? This doesn't seem like a good idea. Why it looked like a texture pack? <laughs> Man, Dora really let herself go after Boots left her. But what the f*** is going on in here? <laughs> nah, man, come back, where'd you go? So, no light, I guess. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna lose my sh**. I barely have any bullets left. Nice try, feds. I'm still not turning on my lights, thank you. Guess we made it. Guess I have to worry about Squidward now. Bro, this thing is staring at me. Wait, let me take a look at this battery. Real quick. Come on, man. That's just SCP-179. I guess I have to keep looking at it for me to stay alive. Okay, the only thing that has managed to scare me so far about is the fact that I'm not able to look this baddie up close. How long do I have to look at your ugly face? Okay, I got the nurse's arm, Kazam. Oh, he's fast, bro. Okay, I think I got this one down. Where'd he go? I think it just came.
Okay, initially I thought the game was very creepy. The movement was also sort of realistic. And this bit was very creative. I did find myself stuck in a glitch though. As after I died in this room, the door from the outside that was supposed to open after hitting the red button was closed. And I assume it was because the game loaded and just spawned me inside the room without loading the part where I hit the button. So I quickly replayed the game to reach the next part. This game instantly gets the higher rating in my book solely because of this. Call me biased, but it can't be helped. Some parts are very well thought out and creative, and this little puzzle where you have to blow out the lights just took me some time to figure out, but I got it eventually. And even though it was an original, Bootleg SCP-173 was pretty great too. Indian possessed Bruce Lee was also a good boss fight. I like how shooting him in the leg slowed him down, and shooting him in the head dealt extra damage. Usually games like this just account for the headshots, but leg shots to slow your opponent down is a real thing. Okay, haunted hospital time. Wait, she can't see me anymore because I went up two blocks of stairs. So I guess I have to break six eggs now. When did this game become a Slenderman page hunting game? You have a big chunk of your head missing. How are you alive? Why is she tweaking like that? Bro, this is some school propaganda. Okay, this isn't too hard. It's 6666. Nah, man. That, I'm going home. Okay, I'm supposed to avoid literal slender man now. But I guess he's transitioning into a crying woman. Damn, bro, what happened to you? Bro, what is that slapping around? I am tired of this guy making whale noises. Oh god, it's transgender slender man. I gotta look away now. Guess I'm collecting limbs now. Well, there goes my bullets. I found a head. I mean, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have teeth. I mean, I'm just saying no one would know, you know? Yo, chill, I didn't do anything with the head. Oh, yo, yo! For a second there, I thought this was headed somewhere else. Okay, this one's a bit more difficult. This game has me pulling up my calculator. Alright, 50-50. Before I give your arm back, can I just... Oh, what the f*** am I playing? Come on, don't look at me like that. He cannot see me anymore because I climbed this bed. Okay, what is that? I feel like a man dying of thirst seeing another man drown. Bro, I know Michael Jackson when I hear him, and I guarantee that's him. I can leave now, but I don't really want to. I have another egg left. Bro, these poses, I swear something's off about this particular pair. Okay, I got all six, and it's time for me to get out. And that's the end of chapter two. So it seems that people are going missing in a hospital. Nurses have been dying and there are countless occurrences in the hospital that cannot be explained. The police cannot do anything because they have no luck finding out what's wrong. So you, who I assume is a psychic investigator, is sent to check out what's wrong. Don't even bother asking why you're sent alone. Looking for an entrance to the hospital, we start off in the basement. I'm assuming that's because the front door was locked. We make our way through the paranormal and come to realize that the entire place is haunted. In the second chapter, the protagonist reads a note that states that there are six eggs in total, which contain highly dangerous beings which may become too difficult to stop once they hatch. The one hatching these eggs is this girl. Not a lot of context is given as to why she's doing it other than the fact that she's evil. Knowing this, the protagonist goes on a journey to eradicate all the eggs. We do so and leave, just for us to find out that there is yet another egg that is secretly being kept by the evil ghost girl. How do we know this? I have no f***ing idea. The game is set to be continued. There is another chapter which sort of acts like a DLC. I haven't played it yet. It does not have any correlation with the story at all. I have never really played a body cam game before, and I thought that it would be a good idea for the first one to be a horror game. I certainly did not regret that decision. The game does not take itself too seriously, it mainly focuses on the combat and nothing on the story. But I guess you could already figure that out. There's barely anything new in the second chapter, it just wasn't as great as the first chapter, but it's filled with her straps. And the game just downgraded into a Slenderman game with occasional jump scares. 
The shooting still remains pretty realistic, it's fun and the graphics look crazy good. There is also a good variety of monsters in the game. Most of the game just kind of reminds me of Red Out. It also had mannequins that move when you're not looking, and the concept of the ghost hidden in plain sight was also in it. That being said, I would rate this game a 6 out of 10. I feel as though that the realistic combat is carrying the entire concept of the game. The story kind of sucks, I'm not gonna lie, and I feel that the game could be doing a lot better if it's improved upon, which I'm certain that it will be. Adding more notes explaining what's happening, why the eggs are a big threat to others and so on would be great. I can't tell if normal people can see the ghost to begin with and I wonder if they just see a psychic investigator shooting rounds in their deceased grandma. On a scary scale, I'm giving this a 4 out of 10. Don't even ask why. I know that the game is still being developed and I'm excited to see what's next for the game. If you like this horror game, then I suggest you check out these videos on Reddit and I will play the DLC of this game pretty soon. So if you're interested for that, then subscribe.